In this video, we will continue with coordinate geometry. You will find this on page 128 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. The line X over A plus Y over B is equal to 1, where A and B are positive constants, meets the X axis at P and the Y axis at Q. Given that PQ is the square root of 45 and the, the gradient of the line PQ is negative a half, find the values of A and B. Okay. So it meets the x axis at P. Okay. So if you want to see where it intersects the x axis, make y zero. So then you get you get x is equal to a. So the point P is a and zero. When you want to see where it meets the y axis at Q, make x zero, and then you get b. So it's zero b. So this is my two coordinate points. Now I go on. Given that PQ, now I'm telling you, it's the distance is the square root of 45. So take your formula. Remember, usually there's a square root. Now I just put the square on the other side. I put it like this, and as soon as you square a square root, then it just becomes the number inside, 45. So I'm having this. Now I'm going on. And the gradient of the line, again, I use the gradient formula. I substitute... I know the gradient, so I substitute, don't forget, this is x1, y1, x2, y2, so substitute that in, okay, and equals to negative half, cross multiply, and you get a is equal to 2b, okay. Substitute 2b, substitute 2b for a in. So in the place of a, put 2b. You are trying to make the variables the same. So I substitute, I get then this, because this is 4b squared plus 1b squared will be 5b squared. I divide by 5, divide by 5, and I'm going to get 9, and if I take the square root, plus minus uh, 3. Therefore, b is 3. Okay, let's just go, uh, where a and b are positive constants. Always go back to your question, if there's two options, or underline that fine. So b is 3. And now I can work out A, I substitute it in there, and A is 6. Wow, it's a little bit of algebra, but I don't think it's that difficult. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number 1. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start with number 1. I want to underline the coordinates of A and B. This is A. This is B. Respectively, so the first one is A and the second one is B. Where A and B are constants. Okay, very important. Also, they are constants. The distance AB, they give you again the distance. The gradient, they give you again the gradient. Find the possible values of A and B. So it's more or less the same. Okay, let's start. I'm going to start by saying, first I'm writing down the two points. This is A, and it's A and 2. So it's actually a little bit easier than this one. And this is B, and it's 3 and B. Okay, now... I know that the distance formula, so AB, is equal. Uh, can, I, can I just show you first? I'm going to put it first underneath, just like you want. So it's going to, let's make this x1, y1, x2, y2. So it's x minus, x1 minus x2. Oh, I'm right nice there. x1 minus x2 squared plus y1, don't forget to add that, minus y2 squared. So basically, if I'm doing this, so I'm going to say x1, so it's going to be a minus 3 squared plus 2 minus b squared. 
and I have AB, and I want to show you what was the distance there. It was the square root of 1, 2, 5. Okay. But don't forget, if I want to get rid of this square root, I will square this side. So it's like I will do this. And now, if I'm going to multiply out, multiply it, okay, because the square root's now away, so it's, I want to get my pen correct. So it's a squared minus 6a plus 9 plus 4 minus 4b plus b squared. Okay, so this is going to be 1 to 5 is equal to a squared uh, minus 6a minus 4b plus b squared plus 13. Okay, now let's just make this equation 1. I think this is going to, let's just see if it's going to be 1, 2, 5. Yes, this is going to be 1, 2, 5. So this is equation 1. Oh, I forgot. I can simplify this further before I make it 1, 2, 5. I can subtract the 13 on this side. So then I get 1, 1, 2, put the constant here, and make it a squared minus 6a minus 4b plus b squared. And now you can make it equation 1. And now I go on. Now I must use the other information of the gradient. The distance, the gradient of the line is 2. Again, I'm using my two points. I'm just going to move it up. So the gradient of AB, let's use another color. Uh, the gradient of AB is equal. Okay, now remember, I'm first going to write it like this is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, what is the gradient? The gradient is 2. In the place of y2, make sure you put it so it's b minus 2. In the place of x2, it's 3 minus a. So just make sure that you are. Oh, this is going to be over 1. Now I cross multiply. So I have b minus 2 is equal to 2, 3 minus a. Let's just move, I want to just move this. Okay. And if I simplify this, so it's b minus 2 is equal to 6 minus 2a. Uh, and if I want to take it again to one side, I'm just going to take it, uh, equation 2. I'm just going to simplify this too. So I think I must just make it in terms of 1. So I think if I make it in terms of b, it will be good. So this is going to be the minus 2a if this one comes over plus a. Okay, so make this equation 2. Now, what do I do now? So I substitute I substitute equation 2 into equation 1. Okay. And if I do that, I will just find. Okay, now let's see every time when I see a B. So it's going to be 1, 1, 2 equals A squared minus 6A minus 4 and put B. So it's minus 2A plus 8 plus and B squared it's minus 2a plus 8, and it's going to be squared. So it's 1, 1, 2 equals a squared minus 6a plus 8a minus 32. Okay, now first get this squared. So this is going to be, I think you can just, without the bracket, there's no, nothing in front. So 2a times negative 2a times negative 2a, it's 4a squared. This is going to be um, negative 16 
times 2, so it's negative 32a plus 64. Okay, and now I'm just going to simplify this. Okay, so let's just take everything to one side. So we're going to get the zero here. Now I'm first going to look all my a squared. This is a a squared, this is a a squared. So it's going to be 5a squared. Okay, this is going to be negative 6. Let's just make it like this. Negative 6a plus 8a minus 32. So this is going to be this is going to be two, uh, so so it's minus thirty. Okay, and then I'm just going to quickly see if I can just do that one. Uh, so it's minus it's five a squared minus, and then if I say sixty four minus one one two, so it's just quickly that sixty four minus one one two, and. Let's just see, oh, and, and minus 32 is more than 1. So it's this one I subtract, this one I subtract, this one I add. And that's minus 80. Make sure you do all of them. Okay, and now I can simplify this equation by just basically going to divide it by 5. Just before I factorize it. Let's just make it white again. So this is going to be a squared minus 6a. And then I'm going to take that 80, divide by 5, so it's minus 16. And now I can factorize it. And if I factorize it, uh, let's just see 8 and 2, if it works. It's, I call it group B, so you must subtract, and it's 1 and 1. So 8 minus 2. And that is going to be C. So the biggest, um, it's a difference, the signs will be difference, and the biggest over cross minus plus, and this is A, A. So basically, I will get 8 minus 8, A plus 2. So therefore, A is equal to 8, or A is equal to negative 2. Okay, but now let's just go up. Um, if I'm, I was reading what they, they said here, I just want to see if they were saying something about negative or positive. Let's just go back. Uh, the coordinates of the points through A and B are constants. The distance, the graph, find the possible values of A and B. No, it can be more than one. Okay, so in this case, I'm just going to say, okay, so A is going to be 8 and if A is going to be 8, so substitute it in B, so it's fine. Therefore, B is equal to negative 2, and that 8, plus 8, negative 16 plus, so it's um, negative 8. Or, B is going to be, and now I'm substituting the negative 2. And that is going to be 4 plus 8, and that's going to be 12. So if I go it on, so therefore, A is equal to 8 or negative 2. Okay, let's draw the same. A is equal to 8 if B is equal to negative 8. And... A is equal to negative 2 if B equal to 12. And that's your final answer.